Would you like to see how I style my hair? Well, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Welcome to my channel. Today I have damp hair and I'm going to show you the products I use plus the tools I use to style my hair currently. I say that because it changes so frequently. I mean, it depends on the length of my hair, the cut that I've had. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I hope today it works, otherwise I'll have to refilm this, but let's see. First of all, I condition it with Aveda Damage Remedy. I don't know if my hair is damaged or not, but I've been using this for years and years when it was damaged from processing. And I really like it. It's daily hair repair. I go to the salon and buy it. You can buy it online also. So it says to shake it and just put a dab in your palm and run it through your hair, which is what I'm doing. Okay, the next thing I always use is a Veda Volumizing Tonic. And this was used on my hair by my stylist, and I've had many, but this is one way back when I went to the Aveda Style Salon, which I don't go to anymore. But she had used it for my really short do. And I am sorry to say that I'm almost completely out but I put it on the roots, just in the front, in the areas where I want to give it some more body. And I really like that. Okay, next, I use some mousse. Again, I guess you could say I like the Aveda products, which I do. And I use this Femaliant, which is a very loose hold, or I just use a drugstore product such as Suave Max Hold. And today I'm going to use the Max Hold because I noticed the Femaliant wasn't quite holding enough uh, for my taste. Not just put it all over, but especially on the sides. I have the hardest time with the sides here turning them under. Did you ever notice sometimes your hair just styles itself into a cute look, like kind of a messy look, which is what I have now. And I think, oh, I just like to leave it alone and wear it like this. <laughs> and then if I do, it just doesn't work because once I brush it out, it's all gone and it looks terrible. So I've given up with that idea. During the pandemic, I figured that was a great time to let my hair grow out, the gray part. And so I did. And my hair was short already and it was very light blonde. So really it was hard to tell, but I, since I never went out anyway, no one ever noticed. But I did go to the salon as soon as they reopened. I went every four weeks and just kept it really short until it grew out. Now I go about every six to seven weeks. I decided I don't know, a couple months ago that I was really tired of that short, short look that I've been wearing and I wanted a bob. I had seen some other people I know with really cute bobs my age and I decided that's what I wanted. So I've been growing out the layers and it's a long process <laughs> and I'm not sure I'm exactly there yet, but I'm, I'm pretty close. I'll, I'll show you the back. So now I'm gonna blow out my hair and I use two different brushes. This is what they look like. This smaller one is by Olivia Garden. It's ceramic ion tourmaline brush. I'll put the links in the description below if you're interested. This one is similar but it's larger and it's by Conair Ion Shine Ceramic. I use the larger one for the back and I use the smaller one for the sides. So let's begin.
so it's not quite quite as flipped under as I would like but I may use some hairspray at the end now here's the thing with the bangs the bangs are fine but I really like the bangs to be straight down straight I, I love that look it reminds me of the 60s so I am going to use my flat iron to do that be right back okay I'm back and my flat iron is all heated up and I'm going to just do the bangs I like them to be shiny and extremely straight it's just just a look I it, it reminds me of like Twiggy and <laughs> way back but I just like them to be shiny and straight rather than curly it it gives it to me it gives it an entirely different look see what I mean um, and sometimes I'll just turn the sides under a little bit more let's see what happens Sometimes this helps. Like I said, I have a really hard time getting them to stay. Okay, this looks pretty good, and I am going to give it some help with this Paul Mitchell hairspray, firm style, and freeze and shine. I'm allergic to a lot of things. Not allergic, but they make me itch. I don't want my whole head itching and I found this one even though it doesn't say for sensitive hair it doesn't itch me so I'm going to just give a little speck not too much just try and hold it if it'll just hold for okay and there it is and I think it, it worked out pretty well so that's how I style my hair currently. <laughs> Next year, I'll probably have a totally different hairstyle. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.